made the documentary because that night, coincidentally, a friend of mine came over by the name of Mike Brockhoff, and he is a producer for lots of reality TV shows, and he said, we should do a documentary. And I said, I am not touching this with a 10-foot pole. I don't know what it means, but the notion that, you know, 20-year-old guys are watching a cartoon intended for 10-year-old girls, I just don't want to get involved. I just don't know what this is. And it was actually up here in Vancouver when I had come up to shoot that a bunch of kids came up to me, 20-year-old guys, and asked me to sign things about, you know, sign stuff. And I said, why are you watching this show? And they explained to me a little bit about the show. You have to understand is that maybe particularly in my, for me, and sort of generally for most actors, we kind of don't watch most of the stuff we're in. You know, we just don't. It's a little bit like taking a busman's holiday, and we just don't do it. I didn't have a clue as to what My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, was all about. I just didn't know. I knew that they offered it to me. I knew that, you know, the three things that an actor asks for. When, let me see the material, how much. You know, and I went, when? Oh, I can do it then. Let me see the material. Oh, wow, it's actually quite well written. And how much was fine. And I went, well, let's do it. Never to be thought of again. So it wasn't until Fox News, my friend sent me a thing with some really disparaging comments made on Fox News that I thought, you know, this is sort of a, I was not involved with Star Trek at the beginning. I was involved with the next generation. So already that fandom had existed. But I found it very interesting that I might be at the beginning of a new fandom. And I loved the idea of don't judge a book by its cover.